Welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte. Live pictures right now outside the White House where in just about two months, a new president's gonna be moving into that house where you see right there. Joe Biden elected to become the 46th president of the United States. Political, political analyst, Dr. Michael Bitzer joins us now live from Catawba College this morning. And, and Professor, thanks for taking time. Thanks for waking up super early. We, we, we do appreciate it. Um, I, I do want to start locally, though, because I feel like the, the national media has sort of overlooked North Carolina at this point because other states have, have counted and everything like that. Where do we stand here in North Carolina? Um, and, and my understanding is it's not believed that the, the count here is going to change anything. I don't think it will. The uh, process is unfolding as we suspected it would by Thursday. All of the absentee by mail ballots have to be received by their county boards of elections to be processed and counted as long as they were postmarked by 5 p.m. last Tuesday. And then on Friday of this week, the counties will be doing their canvassing. Basically what that means is certifying the results. Then we get later this month the state to certify the results and therefore everything will be official from North Carolina's election. Which is the process that happens every four years. Every or, year. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. We have a, a candidate who, who won 270 plus in the Electoral College, 5 million in popular vote, um, gave a victory speech on, on Saturday night. But we have uh, a, a president who's not quite willing to concede. Uh, uh, have we ever had this before? You, you study this stuff on, on a daily basis. We usually have presidents who lose their reelection bid be bitter about it. And certainly, I think if we go back to someone like Jimmy Carter versus Ronald Reagan, that was a very bitter election and Carter was not happy about losing, but he did follow the process of the transition. George H.W. Bush in 1992 against Bill Clinton lost that election, but he set up and understood the transitional period is critical for any new president coming in, particularly in this day and age of a pandemic. And so this kind of activity we have seen from President Trump, he has signaled this for several weeks. It'll be interesting to watch and see, does he really follow through on these legal threats or does he let the process play out? Because we, we do need governing right now because we're in the middle of a pandemic that has to be addressed and we can't wait till January uh, right. to, to address. And of course, it, it should be said that Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush uh, became like best friends uh, after what was a contentious race between the two of them. All right, Professor Bitzer, thank you as always, we appreciate it. My pleasure.